Our top story across the country. Talks to raise the debt ceiling are at a standstill, with Republican negotiators telling reporters they're not confident a deal can be reached before default. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Chin Doan. Christiane Benavides reports. Mr. President, how concerned about, are you about the debt talks at home? Not at all. President Biden cutting his overseas trip short, heading back to Washington Sunday, earlier than originally scheduled after debt ceiling talks between Republicans and the White House Friday night ended with no deal. We took a pause because of the frustration that the, this White House will not acknowledge that they're spending too much. Republican congressional leaders walked out of the negotiation room and warned that there would be no deal without sharp spending cuts. Moments after the walkout, former President Trump urged Republicans to reject the deal and hold out for everything they want. The GOP is calling for what amounts to an across the board 13% cut on government spending. I still believe we'll be able to avoid a default and uh, we'll get something decent done. Are you confident you'll be able to reach that deadline? No. You're still not confident? No. Republicans say a deal must be reached this weekend to get it through Congress in time to avoid default. Some Democrats are urging the president to consider using the 14th Amendment to go around Republicans. Using this authority would allow the president and the United States to continue to pay its bills on time. If the debt limit isn't raised, the government could run out of money by June 1st, potentially upending financial markets and pausing military salaries, Medicare and Social Security payments. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Stocks were down yesterday before markets closed due to the breakdown in talks.